Excuse me, sir, you dropped your wallet? Sir? I identify as a woman. Get on the ground, you misgendering people. Sir, put your hands behind your back right now. Sir. No. I'm a woman. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to put your hands behind your back. Yep. I was like, get that man right there. Man. I meant, I meant to say woman. That's that's what I meant to say. I identify as a thing. <sighs> yep, officer, get that that person. Person? No. I now identify as a chair. <laughs> officer Man. Get. 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 Siri, I lost my job today. Can you tell me a joke to make me feel better? Okay, sure. What's the difference between you and an extra large pizza? I don't know what. An extra large pizza can feed a family. Hi, welcome to our restaurant. How can I help you? Yeah, I'd like to ask about the menu, please. Oh, that's none of your business, but they seem pretty satisfied. Oh, you meant- This is so stupid. Why is this funeral at 9 a.m.? Why? Are you not a morning person? <coughs> Yo, come on. Oh, man, poor Jack. He used to love writing music. That's all right. At least he's still decomposing. <laughs> you know, Trey, like, you're really different than any other guy, like, I've ever talking to. Like, you're just so polite, smart, and you ain't judge me when I said I had a son or the fact that he's deformed and- I think I finally want you to meet him. Like, for real. Thank you. You know, um, I always thought it was, like, real important for you, like, you know, for me. Hello, sir. Ah! Get out! Get out of my house! Get the hell out! Sir, are you okay? Are you serious? Sure. Are you Why serious, you clean, mommy? Are you okay? You're the third guy to do that. I thought you was different. Get out of my house. Why did he scream? Get out, Trey. You ain't tell me he had three jaws. Trey! You, you know you did. Trey, get out! Now! Mommy, why did he scream? Is he gonna be okay? Is he gonna be okay, Mommy? No, he's not okay. He's gonna leave. <laughs> What's wrong? When your mouth is shut and you're just alone by yourself, what's happening in your brain? I got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Diddly diddly, there they are. Standing in a rock. Bum, 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 bum. Yo, where's the remote? The remote? Hey, bro, get up real quick. Bro, I don't need to get up. I'm not sitting on it, bro. I don't feel it. I would feel it if I was sitting on it. No, bro, just in case, you might be sitting. No, I'm not sitting. Bro, If look, if I was sitting on it, the TV would turn on. Look, I'm moving. I'm not sitting on it. Okay. Bro. Bro, what is this on your Instagram story? Like, I'm in your close friends, bro. I can obviously see this. Stand up. Bro. All right. Look, is it there? Oh. Told you, bro. Tripping. Guess what we did today? What'd you do today? We jumped Randy Evans. What? We jumped Randy Evans today. Why would you do that? We were tired of his shit. Oh my God. There were seven of us. Seven people jumped. We waited jumped. until recess. Chad caught him behind this building. Then we just all jumped out. And he fucked us up. What? All of us. He won. Chad's in the hospital. Chad's in the hospital? Mikey passed away. Mikey passed away? I think so. And Adam? Blind Adam? Right. You remember he can't see? Right. Right. Well, he can't walk now. He can't walk? And you know Joey? What happened to Joey? He also can't walk now. Joey can't walk? That boy crawled home. That's crazy. And then he, boom, punched David, knocked him out, punched me in my chin. I started crying. He took my girlfriend and then he kissed her. Wow. She left me for him. And I don't blame her. There was seven of us. If I had a penny for every time someone called me sexy, I would be in debt. If you have two pillows, the top pillow is using the bottom pillow as a pillow. No way. Technically, your alarm tone is your theme song because it starts every episode. You could totally look at it that way. Earth is a wet rock that's been sitting out so long, stuff has started to grow on it.
What a fresh perspective. A keychain is a ring invented so that you can lose all your keys at once. That's a double-edged sword because it's convenient when you have them all together, but it's not that convenient when you lose them because you lose access to literally everything. A person standing in front of you is technically the person standing the furthest away behind you. How was your 2020? It was amazing. I didn't have to socialize with anyone. You didn't have to socialize? No, it was amazing. So you liked it? Yeah, in my little bubble. You don't like people? Absolutely not. They're horrible. Hi, Jack. Good day. Could you tell me how many siblings you have, please? Oh, yes. I can. Um, I like to play football with my friends. Let me rephrase that. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Oh, pardon. Um, I have seven mothers and my best friend is my, my dog. Okay, great. And what did you get up to on the weekend? Oh. Um, on the weekend, I played football with my dog. He's a very large dog and he is dead. Brilliant. That'll be all. Thank you. Merry Christmas. I need to speak with you privately. The counselor is saying you're depressed, is that right? That's why you're failing all of your classes. Oh man, God, things are getting really busy. Can I just be a little less busy? You're fired. That's not what I meant! Hey God, thanks for the new job, but things are getting real busy again, so I'm gonna need you to listen to this really carefully, okay? Can you make things just a little bit less busy without ruining my life? Hey, the boss got cancer, so he's closing down the company. What? Okay, let's try this again. Okay, so things are getting a little busy. I'm gonna need you to make things less busy without ruining my life or anybody else's life. No one should get hurt. The office got struck by lightning and burned down, but no one got hurt, thank God. Okay, you win. I'll stop complaining about work. Could you just, just, just do me one solid? Here, okay. There's this cute girl at work. I know you know who I'm talking about. If she's not the one for me, could you just ever so gently, and oh my you is the word of the sentence there, gently. Let me know if she's not the one for me. A steamroller gently rolled over like three of our co- Was anybody? Yeah, Sarah was one of them. Ah, oh, shit. Dave! Yeah? I'm taking a shower. If my dad calls, can you tell him I'm late? Yeah. Where are you, son? Hello, this is Officer Petty. Your son was involved in a major car accident. What? Wait, 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 what? <laughs> uh, yo, 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 the baddies are calling, baddies. Uh, yo, yo, do your thing, do your thing. Yo. Hey, Jimmy. Yo, what up, Abby? You coming to the party later? Yeah, I'll be there. You got a friend? Yeah, I got a friend. Ooh, is he cute? Yeah, he kind of cute. Ooh, okay, perfect. Yeah, he kind of thick, too. Yeah, all, all double-cheeked up and shit. <laughs> shit, he be getting me all bricked up and shit. He don't even know it. Got them juicy-ass lips. He be making me act different. Yo, you good? <laughs> my fault, my fault, my fault, my fault. I just be getting a little nervous around you. All right, bet. You got a big ass chest. <laughs> shit, I just want to lay on them shits right now. What the fuck? Those eyes. <laughs> I just be getting lost in them shits sometimes. <laughs> shit, this motherfucker got me in a chokehold right now. Shit, this motherfucker gonna make me act up. <laughs> hey, yo, why are you taking your belt off? Oh, mate, that is gorgeous. You like it? Oh, mate, that is beautiful. Yeah. Hey, Rexy. Rex, you fucker. Sorry. You ever had chocolate before? No, no, Try some of that shit. You'll love that. Try some of that. Mm. That is mint. Beautiful, isn't That's it? That's lovely, Fucking yeah. lovely, mate. Yeah. Anyway, so um, what was I saying? So we went for a walk, and Rexy, tell him about the pigeon. <laughs> Rexy, tell him about the pigeon. <laughs> Rexy. Rexo. Rex. He's fucking dead. You know, I met your dad when I was 17. Aww. He was 25. What? He would follow me home from school every day. I was so scared, so I went and told my pa. And so he told him to stop. No, he said marry her. I don't want to be responsible for her anymore. <laughs> so I got married. And then I had to move into your dad's side of the family home. Mm-hmm. Oh, and they treated you well? 
Yeah, I mean, they made me do all the housework and they yelled at me a lot, but it was okay. Oh, then we moved to America and I had you. And now look, I'm so great. <laughs> Who are you calling? The police. Dude, I got the job. Bro, that's so awful. Awful? Yeah, I'm so full of awful you. No, dude. Have you been living under a rock? Awful doesn't mean full of awe anymore. Okay, the definition changed like hundreds of years ago. Try again. Okay, um... I'm so gay for you. Gay no longer means happy! I know! Right, do you know why we pulled you over today? Well, if you don't know, I'm not telling you shit. Okay, just, yeah, give me your license. Says you need glasses? Yeah, but I have contacts. I don't give a shit who you know! That's not what What's your name? Yeah, it's Frida. And then your second name? Go. Yo, free to go. Thank you. Shit. Hey, bro, do you mind putting the volume up a bit? Yeah, of course. Oh, my God. I really... I'm someone with like a... Can you put it up a bit more? Yeah, I got you. How you she did that? I'd spit in her fuck... How about just like... Lit, like the tiniest bit more, bro. All right. Girl, I get paid. <sighs> awesome. And... Can you put it up just like one more? Are you deaf? Are you fucked? What? Bro, everyone knows you either put it on an even number or a multiple of five. No in between. Bro, I think you have that obsessive compulsive disorder. I think you have the fucked in the head disorder. Hey, just wanted to say I know you were joking when you said that thing, but I internalized it anyway. I'm insecure. Wanna hear a joke? No. Okay, here it goes. 500 bricks are on a plane. One falls off. How many are left? 499. How do you put an elephant in a fridge? You can't fit an elephant in a fridge. You open the door, put the elephant in, and close the door. <laughs> How do you put a giraffe in a fridge? Open the door, put the giraffe in, and close the door. No, you open the door, take the elephant out, and put the giraffe in, and close the door. The Lion King is having a party. All the animals are there except one. Which one? Let me guess, the lion. No, the giraffe, because she's on the fridge. Sally has to get across a river full of alligators. They are very dangerous, but she swims across safely. How? She step on the alligator's mouth. Nope, the alligators are at the party. But Sally dies anyway. How? She drowned it? No, she got hit in the head by a flying brick. Where's the baby? Where's the baby? Where is my baby? Have you seen the baby? No, I have not seen the baby. When was the last time you saw the baby? Now get out there and find that baby. If you have any information regarding the whereabouts of our baby. <laughs> How could you lose the baby? I never even wanted the baby. Our top story today. Police across the country are still searching for the baby. Where's the baby? Where's the baby? Baby. I'm alive. I'm dead. I'm watching TV. I'm looking at you. Fuck you. I'm dead again. I'm up. I can run faster than a bitch around the house. Oh, we are not using that. Well, that is a horrible name for a fruit. What, what if you just put the letter G at the start of the word? Oh, grape. I like it. Good name. Good name. Good name. All right, next one. Wait, um, grapes are fruit? Yeah. So we have grape, which is a fruit. Mm -hmm. uh, and then mm -hmm. we also have grapefruit, which is also a fruit. Yeah. Yeah. I don't see a problem with that. Me neither. Moving on. Uh, I was thinking the name for this one could be tomato. Mm, how about tomato? Put both down. Good Put idea. Down. That way it won't cause any arguments. Okay, next up, uh, what should we call this? Hmm. Hmm. I want to say orange. That's literally what I was thinking. Because of the colour? Because of the mm -hmm. colour, yeah. That's yeah, a really exactly. good name. That's I mean, really it's literally orange. Like, what, exactly. Yeah. Wrong there? I yeah. cannot see yeah. us regretting this. What about this one? Oh, it's the same colour. It's the same colour. Oh, Pointy orange? No. Orange, uh, orange with hair. Great. Long skip orange. orange. Skip that one. Uh, yeah. Skip, skip. Carrot. Ooh, that um, could work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That could work. Fuck that could it. work. Just put it down. You never actually stop clapping. The time between claps just becomes longer. No way. You can get arrested for peeing in front of other people. And then you will be forced to pee in front of other people. Whoa. Depends on where you live though, I guess, a little bit. Light bulbs were such a good idea, they became the symbol for a good idea. That's true. We don't check the refrigerator multiple times to see if we can find new food. We check to see if our standards have dropped enough since the last time we opened it. Yo. Oh my god! No, 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 don't do it! 
Don't do what? Jump! <gasps> Relax! I am unharmed! You asshole! You could've caught that guy! Oh. Freeze! Empty your pockets! Hey, please man, don't hurt her! You tell him, best friend! Yo, what the f- What'd you just call me? Best friend! Jay, man, you don't have to do little bro like that! Best friend? Who you call it best friend? Gym membership waiting for you, bro! Best thing you said me! Yo, shut the f- Is this the first day? No, bro, this is like the fifth one! Best friend! Yo, shut, shut your, your mouth. mouth! Honestly, jeez! You hit that yet? Hey, don't talk about her like that! Alright, let me come clean, little bro. I hit that last week. What? Hey, Luke, is that you? You already know- Daniel, uh, why'd you stop talking to Ryan? He pissed me off. Okay, and? <laughs> Whenever anyone annoys or slightly irritates me, I just pretend they don't exist. Oh, that's not really nice, Daniel. Matter of fact, that's kind of downright rude. Daniel? Daniel? Bro, are you having a stroke? Hello? Oh no. And that was the last time Daniel spoke to me, or even looked at me. Matter of fact, Daniel doesn't speak to anyone anymore. We've all tried to get him to acknowledge us, but it never worked. Some wonder if Daniel can even see us at all. Sometimes he sneezes, but that's all you're gonna really get out Okay, alright, let me ask you this. Did you put your hands on the plaintiff? What? Of course not. That's a lie, Your Honor. I have documents that prove- Hey! Shh. I'm talking to him. I know, Your Honor, but I got proof that hey, he- Hey, hey, hey! Shh. Close it. Now, let me ask you that again. Did you whoa, 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 wait a damn minute, what the fuck what? did I just say? Case dismissed, goodbye. What the, what the fuck was that? So next up to speak, we've got Harry. Oh, Harry's getting up, oh, this should be good. Bit of stand-up, is it? Huh? Um, I remember. Shows your tits, fatty! Stop. Oi, what are you doing? Mm. Oi, what are you mm. doing? Stop it, please. Well, get up the stage. Stop. I'd like to thank you all for coming to my late father's funeral service. Oh, I forgot. That's why we were uh, How did you forget? I just forgot. Where did you think we were? Karaoke bar. How could this be a karaoke bar? Oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. What? But what did you do? Put my name down to get up and sing. Put your fucking name down to sing. I'm not going to say no to karaoke. It's not karaoke, you fucking idiot. This is a funeral for Harry's dad. Yeah, I've I never met that. somebody so uh, incredibly fucking Thank you, stupid. Harry. Um, uh, next we have Tom. Shit, okay. No, don't, don't. Uh, okay. Stop, please, uh, no. Uh, Sorry for your loss, Mrs. Jenkins. <laughs> Miss. Jason Derulo Bro, you have this bad habit of making things sound worse than they actually are No, I don't Bro, you literally do it all the time Anyway, forget all that, where are you? At the hospital Wait, what? What happened? Is everything okay? It's my cousin He can't walk or talk What the? What happened to him, bro? Is he gonna make it? Oh, no, he was just born You stupid son! Hey, sir, your bank account is all set up and ready to go I guess that means I'm officially a member of this bank now Yes, you are And so that means that I have full access to the bank lollipop jar now of course, you can have a lollipop. Just one of them? You can take a few lollipops. I need an exact number. Don't take more than three lollipops, please. And is that three lollipops a day? Come on, man. You don't need three lollipops every day. But as a member of this bank, I can come in here every 24 hours and take three lollipops from the lollipop Only jar. if you're coming into the bank to make actual transactions and not just get lollipops. Please, I've opened a bank account at almost every bank in this city, and this is how it always goes. First you start adding rules, then you start hiding the lollipop jar entirely when you see me come. Well then stop opening bank accounts just for the lollipop. Look, all I'm saying is, I will be back tomorrow. And I'm gonna be so sad if for some reason the lollipop jar is gone. Put the money in the bag, asshole. Put the money in the bag, asshole. Okay. Put the money in the bag, asshole. Okay. Put the money in my ass, bag hole. If Jimmy has two apples, listen, I'm not playing. Two apples, and Emily gave him two more. Fix your face. Two more. How many does Jimmy have? He has five. You must want your ass electrocuted. He has, he has four. He has you four. You better get it right. He has four apples. Four apples. Harry, I put it in now. Next question. If Michael has 16 oranges, and his brother Alex came and took eight away, how many does he have? Yes, ten. If I have eight... What is 8 plus 8? 16. So, if I 
if eight plus eight is sixteen, what is sixteen minus eight? Eight. So why would you say ten? Eight, eight, eight. Put it in. Eight. Stop acting like you stupid. Boy, I swear to God. How's it going with your spelling tutor? I fired her. What? I let her go. I said, get your ass out of here. Why? She's dumb. What'd she do? She tried to say the word jalapeno started with a J. I said, how fucking dumb do you think I am? Jalapeno does start with a J. Okay, mistakes were made, but she also said the word knife started with a K. I said, this bitch right it here. It does. It starts with a K. Yeah? Well, she also said the word honest started with an H. I said, how the hell did you pass the third grade? Derek, honest starts with an H. Oh. But she also said climb. There's a B in climb. Hmm. Do -do 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 -do. Callum! Don't move a muscle. Uh, what? I need you to listen very carefully to me, Callum. Your life is in great danger. It is? I'm going to try and save you, Callum, but I can't make any promises. Sir, what do I need to do? Calling in backup. This is a code red. Look at the extraction now. Sir, I'm scared. So am I, Callum. I need you to be strong for me, yeah? Okay. Do you believe in God, Callum? Um... Because it's time to start praying. What? What's happening? Please. What? You were this close to death, Colin. Any last requests? No! Very well. Firing squad. Ready. Aim. Oh! Stampede! What? Bye! Ah, clever. Never mind. Bring me the brunette. I have nothing to say to you, you evil man. Fine. Firing squad. Ready. Aim. Look, tornado. What? Where? Ha! Bye. Ah, clever again. Okay, bring me the blonde. Oh, I get it. Distractions. Do you have any last requests? No, of course not. Very well. Firing squad. Ready. Aim! Fire! Believe Jesus is gone. It's so sad, I know. I mean, it's not that sad, is it? He only had 12 followers. How famous could he really be? <laughs> too soon, Jesus. Too soon. Oh, well, it kind of smells like up Jesus in here. What's, 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 what's up, up, up Jesus? Jesus? Nothing much. What's up with you? Oh, oh my Jesus! God. Oh my God! Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! Oh my God! Jesus! Judas? Let me help you, sir. So where are you off to? I'm on my way to steal your girl. Hey Steve, what's your price? W what do you mean? Every guy's got a price, you know, a dollar amount it would take for him to, you know what, another man. Oh, I, I have no idea. I've never thought about it. Come on, what, what's your price? Oh my gosh, it's got to be like a billion dollars. Deal, here's a billion dollars. No, I, I meant ten billion dollars. All right, here's ten billion dollars. No, I, I... A deal's a deal, Steve. Don't let me get my lawyer involved. What? Let the Jerry know that this man agreed the second he named a dollar amount. Where'd you come from? I didn't agree to anything. Betty, would you mind rereading the minutes? Bill, what's your price? Steve, ten billion dollars. Bill, okay, deal. Steve, I'm excited to do this. What? That, that's not how it happened. Listen, Steve, we got it in writing, okay? You're either gonna make this deal happen, or you're gonna spend the rest of your life in prison, where it's gonna happen a lot more. No, Jermaine, no! Stay with me, man. Stay with me, Jermaine. Hello? Who was this? It's Tractor 27. Accept my invite. Invite? Where are we going? Oh, yeah, we're just going to Six Flags. Man, we're going to the Apex Legends application. Accept my party invite. You talking about playing a game? Well, I can't. Oh? Why not? Because I... I'm not home at the moment. Oh. No. You're not home? Nah. I'm not home. Okay, well. Who is this? The fuck? Who is that, Jay? A tether? Are, are you in my crib? I'm about to be if you don't get your ass on. Bro, I don't want to play with you. I just want to play by myself. I want to play with randoms. Alright. That's it. you. Hey! Leave me alone! If you even touch him, he'll die. Okay, I'll be careful. Hey! I'm hover ending. Get well soon, brother. Motherfucker! Hi, we was calling because somebody is using your social security number, and uh, we need you to confirm that it's yours, so can you please state it? 
Wait, what? If you know that it's my social, then why do I have to say it? <laughs> Sir, we're just trying to make sure that is completely right. So can you please, uh, you know, say it? Well, can't you guys just say it first? Uh... And then I can confirm? Well, see, we can't do that because then, you know, it might get it wrong and stuff like that. So just say the last digits and that's, a, that's All right. A... Uh, my last digits is uh, 911. <laughs> <laughs> hey, funny guy. <laughs> such a funny guy hey, hey almost hey, had you. almost <laughs> hey, almost, almost. <laughs> oh man 658 garden lane <laughs> jonathan simmons right <laughs> like don't laugh in my face like like you won bro like i'm not these normal scam likelies bro i'm scammed for sure like yo who are you who am i bro i'm finna be you bro when i get your socials that's it that's checkmate bro like don't laugh that's not a game Gorilla walks into a bar, sits down, orders a scotch and soda. Bartender brings him the drink. Gorilla gives the bartender a $10 bill. As the bartender's walking to the cash register, he thinks to himself, he's a gorilla. He doesn't know the price of drinks. So the bartender gives the gorilla 15 cents change. Bartender says to the gorilla, you know, we don't get too many gorillas in here. And the gorilla says, yeah, at $9.85 a drink, I don't think I'm coming back either. Welcome to hell. Now you must choose which room you wish to spend eternity in. Okay, come on then, let's have a look. Behold, room one. Well, this isn't great. Eternity upside down. I don't fancy that. What's beyond the next one? Very well, behold, room two. Hanging upside down, but this time on concrete. No. It's much the same, just more uncomfortable. What's behind the third? Very well, here's the final room. Oh yeah. Well, this one doesn't seem so bad. Everyone in this room is up to their knees in feces, but be sure, eternity's for a long time. Yeah, you get used to it after a while, though. Plus, they're the right way up. They get tea here, too. Yeah, I think I'm going to choose this one. Very well. Here you shall stay. I think I've made the right choice. Right, break time's over. Everyone, back on your heads. If you sneeze and I say God bless you, the only thing you should say in return is thank you. I don't need to hear all of this, like... How'd you get in my house? I'm calling the police. Why'd you break my window? Manners is free, bro. It don't cost nothing to be polite. This guy's driving around in the country and he sees a sign that says talking dog for sale. So he's a little intrigued. He pulls over, gets out of the car, knocks on the door. Farmer opens the door, lets him in. He walks up to the dog. He says, so what have you done with your life? And the dog looks at him and says, well, um, I worked in the Alps for a while, saving avalanche victims. I uh, did a tour of Iraq for my country, and now I just spend my days uh, reading books to the elderly at a retirement home. The guy's amazed. He can't believe this. He runs up to the farmer. He goes, why would you sell a dog like this? And the farmer says, because he's a fucking liar. He's never done any of that shit. Hey, son. So I just found out I have some free time this weekend, which means we have time to go on a camping trip if, if you'd like that. Oh, uh, camping. I, I never really enjoyed those, to be honest. What? I never really liked those camping trips. Hey, hey no, wait, hold on, Dad. I, I didn't mean it like that, I swear. I really didn't mean it like hey, that. Hey, no, no, no. Hey, buddy. Buddy, it's fine. Is it, though? Yes, seriously, seriously. I'm good. I'm really good. Okay, all right, all right. Oh, my God. Oh, okay, I take it back. How can you say that? That's a stroke. I think we better start looking. That was when I knew that we needed to start looking. <coughs> hey, come on, you're gonna be late for school. <coughs> mm, yeah, I don't buy it. Get up, get dressed, and don't forget to pack your lunch. <coughs> Where is he? Dad, I'm sick. So, what do you want me to do about it? Go, stay, I don't care, I'm leaving in 20 minutes. <coughs> I'm coming, I'm coming! Oh my gosh, I heard you cough, you okay? I'll, I'll call the doctor and then I'll call the school and get you, I'll get you a whole week off, which should take care of you. What can I get you? Um, how about some soup, some juice, maybe some hot tea? I just want you to get better. Mom, are you approachable? Go ahead. As you know, I'll be turning 18 next week and there will be some changes in this house. My curfew is no longer 10 p.m. It's 2 a.m. I will no longer be responsible for your other two sons when you're not here. I am grown and responsible for myself. I will no longer ask you to go places. I will just be telling you. If you have an issue with me, you can no longer put your hands on me because it then will be considered assault. Is that all?
Yep. Well, then I too will be making some changes. Since you will be an adult, you are now responsible for getting yourself to and from school. I don't give rides to adults. Also, I cook for children, not adults. You'll need to get a job. I'll need rent money and light bill money. As for your curfew, you will not be able to gain access to my home after 10 p.m. Me and my children will be sleeping. Where you went is where you will stay. As for me putting my hands on you, as an adult, I will now throw hands with you. And because I am a petty mother, I'll call the cops after and tell them a grown-ass man just put his hands on me. Sounds good? We have a deal? Welcome to hell. Name, please? Joe. Well, Joe, there are seven levels of hell. Since your only sin was cheating on a science test in third grade, that means you go to the first level. Well, I guess it could be worse. That's the hottest level because heat rises. You'd know that if you studied for your test, Joe. Christian, can you come and help me? Mom, I'm in the middle of a game. But then pause it. I can't pause it. It's online. Fine, once you're finished, come and help me. He's pushing. He's coming. He's on me. He's literally on top of me. He's inside me. I finished him off. He took like 12 shots. I'm coming now. These guys are so sweaty. They're pushing from both sides. They keep hitting me from behind. I need some cover. Someone cover my back. What the? They're all just destroying me from behind. They're going to finish me off. What's happening in that game? I'm spraying. I'm spraying everywhere. I'm finishing. Oh, th that is disgusting. Finish two. These guys got clapped. Oh my lord. What is he doing in there? Alright, don't move, I'm coming. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. There's someone else on me. Last guy. He's down. I'm gonna finish. What game is he playing? Oh, yes! Oh, feels so good. Let's go, baby! <laughs> oh, guys, I'm just gonna help my mum with something. I'll be back in two minutes. Alright. Mom, what did you need me to help? <gasps> all done, sir. You're already done painting the porch? Yes, I'm done with the porch. Porch, 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 porch. You know, I just love humans that care about the animal king. Too, girl, thank you for saving us from that flea market. I was so scared. But you came and saved the day. Oh, 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 oh. y'all, she making us a bad. I know, that's right. We in a luxury hotel, okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's bubbling, y'all. Girl, you got us a jacuzzi. Oh, she love us because you know jacuzzi's not cheap. Hell no, girl. How much you pay for this jacuzzi? Oh, oh, God. oh. oh. Girl, she put Epsom salt in the jacuzzi. Go oh, ahead. Yeah, that's right. Girl, I don't even got arthritis and you giving us Epsom salt. Now, that, that's a good one. What brand of Epsom salt that is? That's Dr. T. Let me see. Let me see. Uh -oh. Uh oh, she picking me up, y'all. She picking me up. You about to be in that jacuzzi. I can't wait to join you. Oh, 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 oh. oh. She is enjoying the jacuzzi. That jacuzzi yeah. must feel real good. <laughs> Hell yeah, she started screaming for joy. How that jacuzzi feel? It's burly. Oh, <laughs> mate, she's so fit. Just go up to her then. I can't. Oh, come on. The worst she can say is no. The worst she can say is no? You're right. Yeah. This is amazing. Thank you, Harry. This is brilliant. The worst she can say is no. Excuse me. Uh, I just wondered if... <laughs> oh. Oh. Fuck off. Okay, thank you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Timmy's dad put his hands on me. What do you mean? He grabbed me. He grabbed you? He grabbed me. Why'd he grab you? Because I pushed Timmy. So he put his hands on you? Fuck that. You're a grown man gonna put your hands on my kids? Let's see what happens when I put my hands on my you. My dad don't play. Knock your ass out. My dad's straight up gay. Yo, you put your hand on my kid? Yeah, he put his hands on me. You feel tough grabbing up an 11-year-old? You ain't tough. What do I want to do? You swing it. What the fuck you mean? You, you know what the fuck I want to do? Which one of these is Timmy's dad? Big one in the middle. Big one. That's it. With the muscle? He big as fuck. I want to apologize for my son's actions. Tell him I am so sorry. From, from my understanding, he pushed? Your it wasn't son? even a push. It was more of like a he's, trick. He's actually saying it wasn't even really like a push. I would never push. I went to him. I'm a Christian. We don't even really push people. The devil right? made me do it. Can you just untie yourself so we can get on with our job? I'll untie myself when you promise not to cut this beautiful tree down. How can you want to destroy something that's so old and ancient? That's why we're cutting it down. It's a creepy old tree. What? No, oh, shouldn't a thing like you be in the kitchen? Oh, oh my no, God, no, 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 I'm going to some more sack. Oh, oh, oh. Bless you. Fuck you. <laughs> Dad said we're getting whippings when he comes home, but I got a plan. You got a plan. 
I'm gonna act like I like it. What? See what happens. You ready for this ass whipping, boy? <laughs> I'm ready. Then get your ass over here. Go ahead. That again, Dad. What the f? I can't believe it worked. Okay, for the last time, for real, for the last time, man. If you see the dude in a blue shirt, you kill him. That is your job, okay? I'm doing a good thing, right? Yeah, whatever. Go, new guy. Call me back when you're done. Thank you. Bye. Oh my god, I'm gonna get an aneurysm. Holy sh. Hey, so the new guy's test results came in? Oh, great. Does it say he has no balls? No, but he's colorblind. Hello? I killed the guy in the blue shirt. He was with his family. I had to kill all of them! Welcome to heaven! Now what is your name? Hi, my name's Quack from the Duck Appreciation Society. Okay, well welcome Quack, how did you die? Well I was swimming with my friends blowing bubbles underwater when a jet ski came and hit me on the head! Well, that's unfortunate, but yes, in you go. Thank you, don't forget to join! Next in line please! What is your name and how did you die? Hi there, I'm Quack Quack from the Duck Appreciation Society, and I was also blowing bubbles under the water, but I stayed under too long and drowned. Not the brightest bunch you lot, are you? But no, fine, in you go. Thanks a lot! Right, let me guess, your name is Quack Quack Quack? Oh no, I'm Bubbles. Hey boy, pull my finger. Okay, this is the last time I'm going over this with you. Okay. If a stranger says, get in my van, you do what? Get in the van on the passenger no, side. No, you don't get in. So don't even get in the van. What if they have a Reese's cup? Now you get in the van. No, you don't. No? That's going to be hard. What if I they guess... have two Reese's cups? I'm in that van like Peter Pan, baby. You said No, two. you still don't get in. Don't know if that's possible. What if they have two Reese's cups and a Snickers? Van time. Probably no, going to start with never you. get in. Never get in? Right, never get in. Okay, never get in. And if they have Skittles? Get in the van. I didn't know they no, had Skittles. No, Derek. No? No. Even with Skittles. Even with Skittles. Wow. What if they have M&M? What do you do now? I feel like this is a trick question. Should be easy. You get... You don't... This is hard. Just say what you think it is. You get in the van. No, Derek. Really? Yes, really. And we're talking about peanut M&Ms. Hey! Come on, man! That's too easy! <laughs> cause then, cause then, cause then he did the thing. He did the thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you're not gonna believe it, what happened next. What did he do? He did the thing again. Oh, he did the <laughs> thing! No. Hey, what's wrong? I just realised I don't want to talk to you right now. Why not? I've just been overcome by a, a cloud of eternal darkness. What are you on about? We're gonna adopt a child. So I'm gonna get a brother or a sister? Mm-hmm. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Hi, sir. How can I help you today? Hi. We're here to adopt a child. Aw, that's so nice. What's your email? I can never remember mine. I'll give you my mom's. It's catlover123 at gmail.com. It looks like that one's already been registered. Oh, would you look at that? Wait. <laughs> Babe, do you think I've put on weight? What do I say? If I say no, she's gonna tell me I'm lying. Then ask me why I'm lying and what else I'm lying to her about, then I'm dead. If I say yes, I'm dead anyway. Wait, remember what Mourinho said? If I speak, I am in, in big trouble. I definitely don't want to be in big trouble. But if I don't talk, she won't stop asking until I say something I didn't mean to say, and then I'm 100% dying. Quick, just say something nice. I think you look great. Okay, but what does that mean? Does that mean no, you haven't gained weight? Or yes, but I'm still attracted to you? Uh, it means either way, you still look beautiful. It actually doesn't matter to me if you gain weight or not. So I have. Are you saying I'm huge? No, no, I I'm just saying you're beautiful however you look. <laughs> you don't love me anymore. What? No, of course I do. <laughs> hey, keep your chins up. Right, come on. Ugh! Shit. Bro, what are you doing? Put the wrist strap on! No, 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 I don't need it. I'm about to get home run. Well, you clearly do. You're gonna break the controller! Come on, come on, bro. Watch this. I'm gonna send this to space. Boys, dinner! Oh, Mom, look out! Oh! Oh!
I'm so glad he bought us all three. Yeah, I did not expect him to buy all three of us. He must really like pumpkin. You know, I'm just grateful. We all got adopted. Oh, oh there he go, y'all. There he go. Hey there. How you doing? We was just talking about you. We just wanted to say thank you for buying all three of us. It's hard being a pumpkin out here. It yeah. is. It is. Mm -hmm. And I heard he, I heard him in the car. He said he gonna decorate us, child. Uh -huh. <laughs> decorate. Oh, yeah. I like that. Yeah, give me some Javachi or something. Yeah, mm -hmm. Honey. Yes, baby. I'm about to get the pumpkin in the middle and scramble the guts. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Oh. Oh. Ah, ah, come get this pumpkin. Ah. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. He picking me up. He better give us a shot. So what you want me to do? You want me to roll over, bro? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 Do I know this place? I, I, I feel like I know this place. What's I doing? Why, why, why am I here? You, you parental figure. I, I, I feel like I've known you all my life. Oh, hi, sweetie. Where did I come from? What was it? What's oh, my purpose? I, 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 I am fussy. not getting fussy. I don't remember what I was. No, a nap won't help come right on, now. Sweetie, I can't the remember box. anything. 68, 69, 60, 10, 60, 11. Uh, okay. 60, 16. 60, 10, 7. 60, 10, 8. Wait, wait, what are you talking about? 420s. 420s, 1. Are you being serious? Can I get a cheeseburger and fries, please? Can I get a cheeseburger and fries, please? Can I get a cheeseburger and fries, please? Okay. Good evening, sir. What can I get for Good you? Good morning. Can I get a bee's burger and pies, please? Ah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Have a nice meal. <gasps> oh, my God! oh my God, Ben. Huh? We went to the same middle school. <laughs> you were in my theater class. You helped me memorize all my lines. We were best friends. Don't you remember? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah the other kids would call me slow. <laughs> Stupid. Sometimes they call me special, but you know what? I showed them something special. Made them disappear. Like a magician. No, Tyler, it's me, Ben. He's not Ben, I'm Ben. We went to middle school together. He's a liar! Shoot that motherfucker! <laughs> yeah, dude, it was hilarious. That shit kept going on for about like an hour until he... Yo, bro, you good? Dude, I stayed up so late trying to finish that presentation for English. Oh, that one, yeah, that took me a while. How late did you stay up? I don't know, like 2.30? I got like four hours of sleep. Oh, yeah? <laughs> well, I got a grand total of two hours of sleep last night. That's... that's not good. Yeah, how the hell does that happen? Well, actually, I could have gone to sleep earlier, but I got bored and decided to watch Instagram Reels for four hours. That's really unhealthy. Yeah, dude, that's not a flex. Okay, I think I'll just set up over here. Rant! Oh, it's like, what? Can you explain to me why you have a 25 in English? No, no, I turned everything in. She just hasn't graded it yet, so it's marked as a zero. Oh, all right, that better be fixed soon, though. What was that all about? Were you arguing with your mom or something? No, I just have a 25% in English, but that's not my fault. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I have a 14% in English, and to top that off, all of my assignments are graded. How does that happen? That That's that's terrible. Wait, wait how'd you join the party? Have you ever had a Krispy Kreme? Have you ever gone to Krispy yeah. Kreme? Was it crispy? No. Yeah, right, right. Um, doctor, is my dad gonna make it? Nobody told you? Keisha, why you ain't tell him his dad was dead? Damn, I gotta do everything in this hospital. Bro, sorry, bro, your dad is dead. Oh, man. <laughs> Calm down, man. I'm the one that should be upset. <laughs> I had to go on break right after. You know how hard it is to eat a sloppy joe after seeing blood? <laughs> Did he go quick? Oh, no, he took his time. I'm like, hurry up. I'm trying to go on break. He fighting. I'm like, let go, man. You got God on hold, man. <laughs> Did he suffer? Oh, most definitely, because he was screaming. I'm like, man, this is annoying, because I know the other patient's trying to sleep. I'm on the phone trying to talk to my insurance agency, trying to get my insurance lower, but he yelling, they can't hear me. I'm like, shut up. If it makes you feel better, I'm sure Mr. Johnson is in a better place. Wait, my dad's last name is Wilson. Oh, your last name Wilson? Oh, my fault. Your dad is straight, bro. He outside. Hey, you Mr. Johnson's son? Yeah. Your dad is dead. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. A couple is driving down the road when she says, Walter, I'm getting a divorce. He doesn't say anything, but he speeds up a little bit. She says, I've had a relationship with your best friend for a long time, and he's a way better lover than you. He doesn't say anything again, but he speeds up a little bit more.
She says, I want the house, the bank account, the car, and the dog. Walter doesn't say anything, but he speeds up again. She says, are you listening to me? Do you want anything? He said, no, I have everything I need. She says, oh yeah, what's that? Just before he hits the wall, he says, I got the airbag. Oh, wow. Heaven's nice. Y'all got a soda water fountain. Yo, God. What it do? You love me, right? Yeah. Then why you didn't give me superpowers like you gave Jesus? What are you talking about? Jesus out here walking on water while I'm just floating in it. I didn't know walking on it was an option. Is that so? Yeah, then he died and came back. Let me go back real quick. For what? Because Chris owed me $5. Now I don't need it. I just want to go back and let him know we still not cool. Hold on. Go back to what Jesus did. He was like multiplying bread. He had like four or five pieces. Oh, he did the bread and fish thing, huh? Yeah. Jesus! Yes, Dad. So you on earth showing off? Nah, I was, um... Hmm? I was helping people. According to Jeff, you were showing off superpowers. Yeah, he stopped three storms by his... Hey, hey, shut, shut up. Oh, my fault, my fault. This guy goes to see a psychiatrist. He says, Doc, I don't know what to do. My wife is being unfaithful to me. Every night, she leaves the house and she goes to Flanagan's bar and she picks up men. Apparently, she'll sleep with anybody that'll ask her to. I don't know what to do. What do you think I should do? And the doctor says, relax. Breathe. Calm down. Now, where exactly is Flanagan's bar? Hmm. These chips are really nice. Did you make them yourself? Yeah, they're homemade. I fried them in rapeseed oil to get more flavor. Oh, nice. Yeah, no, rape's my favorite. So, uh, are you into politics? Nah, not really. It's just a bunch of posh twats arguing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. I'm only there for the massive debates, really. I just love masturbation. I see you've been getting into golf recently. Oh yeah, I'm actually getting quite good. Oh nice. What would you say your skill level is now? Oh no, I don't really rate myself like that. I just don't like the whole idea of the handicaps. Hey God, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Great. Can I ask you something? Sure. So, what is one million years for you? One second. And one million dollars? One cent. So God, maybe you can give me one cent? Of course I can. Just wait one second. How can I help you? I just need a quick oil change. Oil change? No problem. No problem. A few moments later. Hey, look, man. I got some bad news, okay? Your roof leaking. I think somebody tried to take the top off your Maybach, but this ain't a Maybach. This a Toyota. Your trunk exploded. Your car actually might be an Autobot, because in the middle of the oil change, it transformed and rolled out. I thought a Decepticon was nearby. So you looking at about $250,000. I like you, so I gave you the student discount. I took off $50. Oh. I'm still in the car, so none of that happened. Oh, I was supposed to tell you that after. Hold on, let me get the keys. Let me get the keys. All right, I'll be back. I'll be back. Someone tell me, what was Anna's purpose in this story? Come on, anybody. Y yes, Darius. Um, to, to find herself? <laughs> Not quite. But you're close. You're very close. All right, is there anyone who can get it? Hey, man, have you seen my phone? Uh, yeah, it's next to the magic orb under the couch. Okay, dude, you gotta tell me this shit, eh? Easy, dude. I didn't know you were looking for it. No, that there's a magic orb under, under the, the couch. couch. Yeah. Yeah. So what the, what the fuck is that all about? I, like, tells you how you're gonna die. So how do I die? I think I kill you, I think is what it was. Yeah. <laughs> uh, today, actually. Okay, why would you do such a thing? Uh... Fuck it, I forget. Do you want to kill me right now? No. I just... No, 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 no. It's the softest no I've ever heard. Dude, can we just ask the orb? Okay. Okay, where is it? Yeah, it's right there. That's a baseball? No, that's a talking magic orb. Oh, you're fucking insane. That's what it was. I was going to kill you because I'm insane. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. Well, this cowboy's going across the desert, and he gets captured by these Indians, and they take him back to this village. And they say, well, you die in three days, cowboy, but you get one wish a day. What do you want today? Well, the cowboy says, I want to talk to my horse. So they go get his horse, and that cowboy whispers something in his ear, and that horse takes off running and just goes. Well, sometime later, he comes back, and he's got a good-looking brunette sitting on his back. And that brunette jumps off and runs in that TV with that cowboy. Well, the next day, they said, all right, cowboy, what do you want today? I want to talk to my horse. Well, they bring him over, he whispers something in that horse's ear, and that horse takes off, running. Comes back sometime later, got a good-looking blonde sitting on his back. She jumps off, runs in the teepee. The next day, he goes, all right, 
final day. What do you want? He says, I want to talk to my damn horse. Go get him. Well, he brings that cowboy's horse over there, and he pulls that old horse in close, and he looks him dead in the eye and says, Posse, P-O-S-S-E, Posse. Now I take care of you every day, and this how you treat me? This how you treat me? Wait till your mom finds out. I'm calling your why mom. Why are you yelling? I'm playing Barbies. Okay, so why are you yelling? Barbie just had a baby. Still doesn't answer my question. Why are you yelling? Barbie's white. And? Ken's white. And? Baby's black. Oh, shit. The same thing I said. Fucking Barbie. Sir, may I see your driver's license, please? I don't have one, officer. It was revoked after I got my fifth DUI. May I see the registration for this vehicle? Oh, it's not my car. I stole it. The car is stolen. That's right. Come to think of it, though, I think I saw the registration in the glove box when I was putting my gun in there. There's a gun in the glove box? Yes, sir. That's where I put it after I shot and killed the woman who owns this car. Then I put a body in the boot. There's a body in the trunk? That's right. Okay, just wait here. Yeah, no worries. Yes, yeah, Sarge, I'm going to need you to come down and help me out with this one. Sir, may I see your driving license, please? Yeah, sure. Everything you need's in here. Is this your car? Yeah, the registration will be in there as well. Can you slowly open the glove box so I can see there's no gun in it? Yeah, sure. Nothing in it. Do you mind if I have a look in your boot? Yeah, I'll open it for you now. I don't understand this. The officer who stopped you said you told him that there was a body in the car, that this car was stolen, and that you had a gun in it. <laughs> yeah, I bet the lying sod told you I was speeding as well. Chad, what? What is that? I don't know. I ain't never seen nothing like that before. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse it, me. It don't talk, baby. That look like the shit that be in the sky. Oh, yeah, it do. Excuse me, sir. Ah, what the hell? What the hell? What? That bitch just bit me. Oh, hell no. Let me call the chief. But he said he eat, he eating, he eating. He said he on his way, baby. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I can't believe that thing just bit you. Hell yeah, and my hand stinging. Uh oh. It might be poisonous, bitch. Uh-uh, don't say that. Suck the poison out. Suck the poison uh -uh, out. Uh-uh, I don't do that, baby. Mm -mm. Oh, my God. I can't believe you bit my friend, stupid. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, bit. hit that hoe. Bit, hit that hoe. Bit. Bit. Oh. oh. What? What did you do? I, I hit it to the tree and that hoe got bigger. Hey, y'all, what's up? What the fuck? Let me get one. Yeah, I got you, bro. Appreciate it. <laughs> what the, what the fuck, bro? Hey, man, what's wrong? It's just a mint chocolate cookie. That minty ass shit, bro. You might as well be eating toothpaste. Great idea. Bro. Oh. oh, this game is ass. Hey, what? Quit yelling in my goddamn house. Your house. I live under this roof too. This is our house. <laughs> our house. Let me ask you something. Did you pay for this house? No. Do you even pay bills in here? No, I do not. Then how the fuck is this your house? Look, you may live here, but this is still my house. Do I make myself clear? Crystal. Hey, stop whatever you're doing and come help me clean this house. Why do I have to? Because I'm not the only one living here. So let's hurry up and clean our house. So now it's our house, huh? What are you talking about? No, what are you talking about? Ain't this your house? Excuse me? Because by your logic, this is your house. Your trash. Your mess to clean up. I am a goddamn parent. We don't have to use logic. Now hurry the hell up so we can clean our fucking house. Oh my god. What the fuck? Mama, come here, mother beat your ass, mom. Come here. Are you wearing glasses? Yes. Are you bald? Yeah. Do you wear sneakers with jeans? Yes. Did you have a son in 1996? Yes. Was his name Connor? Yes. Dad? That's right, son. I thought you were dead. I've returned to ask you one thing. Anything. Why are you sitting in my chair? My oh, no, no, little no, 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 come back no, no, no. Dad, I accidentally crashed your truck. You did what? Oh, it's... it's okay. It was just an accident. Really? You're not mad? No, I'm not mad. How about we go to the park and play catch? Yeah, let's go. Dad, what park are we going to? We're going to this new one that just opened. We're almost there. Oh, okay. Dad, are we almost there? It's getting really dark and I'm kind of scared. How do you think I'm going to feel when I have to walk back alone? <laughs> Get back here! How's the gambling going, man? It's been six months. Nice, that's great, man. Yeah, I don't think I'll gamble ever again. Yeah? I'll bet you 50 bucks. You're on. Damn it. Thank you. Double or nothing? Sure. Fuck! This Halloween. 
Man, it sure is fun being the only people in this house and definitely know what- What was that? One killer. We have to go see what that was. What, no? Are you stupid? I'm calling the cops! No, that's so boring, though. Yeah, come, come on. on. They would just die anyway, yeah, so let's go check it ourselves. Out. What? Idiots, bro. Three friends. Guys? Would you go? No, Billy, no! Never mind, just two. Wait, what? Uncover the mystery. Who is this guy? It could be... Hey guys, look! A homeless person! Let's make fun of him! Yeah, what a loser! It's him. Why is he spoiled it again? What the hell? Where is... No! Now only one. Stop doing that! What's the point? Okay, the show spoils one more thing, I swear to you. Halloween. The one where everyone dies and the killer lives on to be seen in yet no, another no, movie. What are the results, Doc? Just give it to me straight. I'm afraid you've got testicular cancer and only three days to live. Oh my god. Now give it to me, gay. You've got testicular cancer and it's over for you. Oh my god. Shoot him! I'm the real no. one! He's fake! Shoot him! I'm the real one! He's the Aryan! Uh, I don't know. Tell me something only my real dad would know. Last week I beat you up for the B plus of math. What did you use? Belt and slipper. Hey, anybody can figure that out. You pee your pants until ninth grade. We had to move because everybody call you pissy boy. Oh, yeah, okay, no, uh, we, we don't need to bring that up. What did you say to me on my seventh birthday? You're a fucking failure. And why? You couldn't even solve basic college level trigonometry problem. Yeah, I still think that's bullshit. I was only seven. Steven's son solved it and he was only two months old. Fresh out the womb. <sighs> okay, last question. Even if it was only for a single moment, have you ever been proud of me? Uh, of course. In 23 years, I'm sure you've made me proud at least one time. Why it take you so long? Huh? Why can't you be like Steven, son? He figured it out in two oh seconds. My God, this Dad. is why you never make me proud in 23 years, you fucking disappointment. Ugh, I'm low on health. Quick, give me one of your 98 potions. No, I'm just gonna have my mage cure you. I'm all out of magic. Please give me one of your 54 ethers to restore it. Yeah, but what if we really need it later on? I I'm fairly certain we're gonna hit a save point after this battle if we can just- Dude, now we've all fainted. Use a Mega Phoenix to revive us. We need it now! No! Uh, Why not? not? Because then I'll only have 14 Mega Phoenixes. Ah! Dude, I think my girlfriend's really mad at me. Wait, why? I don't know. She's just been giving me angry looks all day. Ask her what's wrong. Um, Jessica. Did I do something? Like, it seems like you're mad at me. Really? So you're just gonna pretend like you don't know what you did? I don't know. Like, what did I do? Oh, I don't know. Break up with me over this stupid letter? I didn't write that. Maybe this will refresh your memory. Dear Jessica, I know we've been together for a while, but I think we should end. As in, right now. If I could end us yesterday, I would, but I can't go back in time, so I'll do it right now. Good, but, but, goodbye. Thank you. You did this. <laughs> Why? So, so you could get with her? No. No, she's... she's not my type. What? She's not my type. Neither is any girl my type. Wait. But you are. You gotta be kidding. Um, look, I just wanted to apologize about before. That was uh, clearly unprofessional. Um, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to strike a nerve. <laughs> I got the money! Come on, kill the witness! Did, did you draw a dollar sign on the bag? Yeah, so we know which bag is the money bag. How many bags do we have? One. So wouldn't that be the money bag? What is your problem with my dollar sign? I don't know, maybe I just wanted some class, you know? My gun doesn't have the word gun on it. This whole thing just feels a little goofy now. I can ignore your pretentiousness when we get home. Now kill this fool! No, please, I'm not a witness, I'm blind! He says he's blind. Yeah, I'm right here, I heard him. How many fingers am I holding up? Uh, I don't know, two? Boom, he's lying, kill him. Wait, no, that's sheer coincidence! Why would I say the right thing? Just, just do it again! Um, four? Kill him! No, 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 again, coincidence, please, give me one more try, both of you, hold up as many fingers as you want! I swear we don't have time for this. Okay, uh, three on your left hand, and one on your right, and five on your left hand, and your right hand isn't up. There's no way I got that right. Oh, come on! Fella gets into a fight with his wife. She kicks him out for the night. So he calls his buddy. His buddy says, yeah, come on over. You could stay with me for the night. So he goes to his buddy's house. They're sitting on the couch. They're having a beer. Guy says, all right, so tell me what happened. He goes, I, I don't know. One minute we're talking about the broken dishwasher, and the next minute she's calling me an arrogant, egotistical, chauvinistic pig. And his buddy says, all right, slow down. Tell me everything that happened from the beginning. He goes, 
I don't know, I walk in there, she gives me 1200 to buy a new dishwasher, and I hand the money back to her and I say, you're hired. I went to the doctor and I said, doctor, my bottom hurts. He said, can you tell me exactly where it hurts? I said, right around the entrance, it's really sore. And he said, my advice is that for as long as you call that the entrance, it'll hurt. <laughs> Dad, what does Y-E-S spell? Yes. Now what does E-Y-E-S spell? E-S. No, it spells eyes. Okay, let's see if you can get this one. How do you spell shop? S-H-O-P. Good. Now what do you do at a green light? Stop. You stop at a green light? So, nobody on your planet uses math? Nope, never heard of it. Okay. Say, what is math anyway? Well... Okay, so let me get this straight. You guys spend all day just writing these weird, freaky symbols? Are you in a cult? No, it's for science. Math is the language of the universe. Well, apparently the universe had a stroke because this is nonsense. How did your kind achieve space travel without performing the necessary calculations? It's a rocket. You blow some stuff up and it shoots you into space. It's not that hard. Oh my God, you even write it on the wall. Like a psycho. Well, that's a whiteboard. We use it so we can teach children. You do this in front of kids? My dad's a doctor and he had a patient yesterday tell him he had severe back pain. My dad asked him what's the reason for the back pain and the man says, When I got home last night, my wife was in bed naked and there was evidence of a presence of a man. So I start looking for the bastard and I look out the window and I see a man that's naked running. So I go to grab the refrigerator and I throw it out the window and that's how I hurt my back. My dad was shocked, but he wrote him a prescription and set him on his way. Right after that, another man comes in and tells my dad that he has severe back pain. My dad asks him, why does your back hurt? The man says, I was late for work, so I was running out of my house naked trying to put my clothes on in the alley when out of nowhere a refrigerator falls and hits me, and that's why my back hurts. My dad was really shocked, but wrote him the same prescription and set him on his way when a third man walks in and says, Doc, my back hurts, and my dad says, You either got hit by a refrigerator or hurt yourself lifting a refrigerator. The man replies, no, Doc, I was inside the refrigerator. Remember to eat. Remember to drink water. If you're mentally ill, fix that. Callum, do you know how much danger you're in? What? Swinging on your chair like that. Do you want to die? No. Let me tell you about an ex-student of mine, Callum. He was a great kid. Had the whole world ahead of him. Till he smashed his brain to fuck. Swinging on his chair just like you are right now. I remember it like it was yesterday. His internal organs splattered over that very fucking wall. Sure, he lasted a while in a coma. He didn't pull through, Callum. Oh my God. And his parents didn't last much longer. His dad couldn't handle the grief. Started buying prostitutes, having an affair on his mother. She found out. She thought she'd throw herself in her work to fill the dark void. Then she'd blow her head off with a nine-gauge shotgun. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you want your family to die, Callum? No, no, sir. <laughs> then don't swing on your fucking chair. <laughs> oh my god, you're awake. What happened? You had a panic attack whilst playing peekaboo. <sighs> Where am I? I see you. <laughs> hey, bro, give me all your cash, right now. What? Give me all your cash and I won't hurt you. I don't have any cash. You don't? No, bro. Who carries cash? All right, all right, well give me your credit card then and I'll let you go. Okay, but I'm just gonna cancel it the second you leave. Don't do that. I'm gonna do that. How am I gonna... Uh, you know what? Write me a check. A check? What are you, 90? Just do it, man. Write me a check and I won't all hurt right, you. Fine, dude. Who do I make it out to? Uh, Jason Wood... Ah, uh, shouldn't give you my name. Right. Do you have Cash App? I have Venmo. Can you download no, Cash App? No, I'm not gonna download Cash okay, App. Okay, okay, what about PayPal? You have yeah, that? Yeah, I have PayPal. Okay, all right, all right. PayPal me all your money and I won't okay. hurt you. Okay, what's your username? It's Jason w Oh, yeah. Damn. You know what, let me check my pockets. I might have some change. Oh, great, thanks. Yeah, now I can buy a gumball. Gumballs are good? No, they lose their, their flavor too quick. All right, no change. All right, well, what about crypto? Crypto? I thought you were robbing me. Gift cards. Do you have any gift cards? Let's see, I got a Dairy Queen gift oh, card with like a I'm dollar on it. And I got a Taco Bell. I like Taco Bell. She's all yours. Really? Why did they call World War One World War One? It's quite pessimistic numbering, isn't it? Or did they just know it was the start of a franchise? What are you looking at? What are you? Oh, no, Cindy. Cindy, hey, don't. Cindy. 
Cindy, stop pointing. No, don't walk over there. Cindy. Oh. How you doing, sweetie? How are you? What are you? Oh. <laughs> um, just a normal person, you know, just like anybody else. Uh, I'm a human. <laughs> uh uh. Humans have two arms. You don't. Cindy, come on. Cindy. Well, you see, um, I lost my arm in uh, a real tragic accident. It was actually uh, pretty bad. Are you an eel? Because eels don't have arms and you don't either. Why did you wear a long sleeve? Hey, high five. Well, you're clinically depressed, so I'm prescribing you a little friend. You're going to want to take this anally. <laughs> oh, jeez. What is that? Did you... Do you put some spice in it? Fuck. No, not not that I know of. Why? Do you find it spicy? Yeah, fuck yeah. Do you have any milk? I mean, yeah, in the fridge, but you shouldn't need it. <laughs> what did you put in it? It's just a fucking cheese ham and tomato sauce sandwich. Oh, that's what it'll be. It'll be the tomato sauce. Are you taking the piss? Tomato sauce shouldn't be spicy at all. It's sweet. You need to pre-warn me if you're going to put spice in my food. Yeah, I would have, but I didn't put anything spicy in your food. That's the point. <coughs> Okay, now you're just over exaggerating. No one's ever done that sound when they found something spicy. All right, the tomato sauce. Are you allergic to it or some shit? What is this? Give me some milk. Okay, okay. Here you go, you baby. Where's the milk? What, there was only a little left. I need it for my coffee. You selfish brick. You good now? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I'm just not a spice guy, eh? Have you ever had pepper before? I feel like if every time we lied or did something that we weren't supposed to do and clown music automatically played in the background... I wouldn't be the way that I am right now. Wait, what? Yeah, we got back together. You know what? Tomorrow's my day. I'm gonna wake up early, go to the gym, and then I'm gonna... Bitch! Okay, I'm not gonna text him back. Damn! I can't believe I failed my exam. You failed? Me too! You failed? Ha! Better start applying now. Ryan, you failed? Haven't I heard this enough yet? I'm disappointed, but not surprised. Dark and difficult times lie ahead. If Dad finds out, you'll be erased from this plane of existence. And that's why he won't find out. Ryan, could you pass me the remote? Yeah, here you go. Great. At least you can still pass something. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. Here we go. Oh. Yo, bro, what you saying? I thought I'd uh, voice note. It's easier, isn't it? Um, oh, fuck's sake. What was I going to say? Um, basically... <coughs> That's fucking mental. <laughs> fucking hell. Fucking coughing fit. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, what was it? Fucking hell. Uh, so what I'm trying to say is basically, uh, was it Wednesday or was it, was it Thursday that, what was I trying to say? Oh yeah, you're free tonight. Fuck me. That's crazy. That's fucking mental. Choose a new password. Potato. Sorry, password must contain at least eight letters. Boiled potato. Sorry, password must contain at least one number. One boiled potato. Sorry, password cannot contain spaces. 50 fucking boiled potatoes. Sorry, password must contain capital letters. 50 fucking boiled potatoes. Sorry, capital letters must not be consecutive. I will shove 50 fucking boiled potatoes up your ass if you do not give me access immediately. Sorry, password must not contain punctuation. Now I am seriously getting pissed off. I will shove 50 fucking boiled potatoes up your ass if you do not give me access immediately. Sorry, you can't change your password to a password that has already been used with this account. Choose a new password. Yo, this math test. How much do you get? I got 37%. Yo. Yo. What, what about you? Yo, 17%. Damn. Oh, he's crying. You must have done bad. My boy, how much do you get? I got 78%. It's bad because I wanted to get 80%. Why are you guys quiet? Oh my gosh, John, I discovered time travel. Maybe now you won't miss the bus. <laughs> Yo. Yo!
Okay, so what are your benefits? Well, I can change negative ways of thinking that may be holding you back. Okay. I can work to help you heal from pains of the past you may still be dealing with. Uh huh. And all in all, I can help you be more self-aware and better understand yourself. And what are your benefits? I'm free. I'm going with this guy. Darn it! I, I understand. That makes sense. Yo, why he look mad as hell? Is he coming over here? Hey, bro. Hey, hey chill, chill. Hold on. Hey, hey, chill, chill. Where's the nearest bathroom at? Oh. It's over there. Right over there? Yeah. All right. Thank you, sir. I greatly appreciate it. You have a nice day. No worries, bro. Shrimp Alfredo? Ah! In a four-story building, there lived four residents, one on each floor. On the first floor lived the boxer. On the second floor lived the professional football player. On the third floor lived the blind man. And on the fourth floor lived the beautiful woman. One day, she's in the shower and she hears a knock on the door, so she yells out, Who is it? The person behind the door yells back, It's Carson, the boxer. She exits the shower with a towel and opens the door. He says, Great news, I won this morning's fight. She said, That's great news, congrats. Closes the door and goes back to the shower. She hears the doorbell ring again and she yells out, Who is it? The person behind the door says it's Alan, the football player. So she exits the shower with a towel and opens the door. He said, great news, my team won today's game. She said, that's fantastic news, I'll see you tomorrow. And closes the door and goes back to the shower. She hears the doorbell ring for a third time and yells out, who is it? The person behind the door yells back, it's Eddie, your neighbor. Knowing that Eddie's blind, she exits the shower without a towel and opens the door. With great excitement, Eddie says, great news, I can see now. Hello, sir. Is everything okay? Your wife, um, here, it's better if we... Your wife just passed away, hit by a truck, just smashed her face. Say what if you got no bae? What? Hey, now put your hands in the air if you got no family. Is this for real? We're very sorry for your loss, sir. <laughs> Hi there, were you ready to order? Hi, uh, I'll just have the usual. Thanks. Do I know you? No. Okay, yeah, I didn't think so. So then why the fuck? Would I know what the usual is for you? It's on the menu. It says it's just a chicken sandwich with roasted red peppers and. Spice. Oh, I'm I'm so sorry. I completely forgot. That's what we called that. No, okay. It, that's okay. Great. So Don't worry about it. And what did you want to drink with that? Uh, yeah, I'll have whatever it takes to get you out of my face. Excuse, excuse me. What the fuck did you just say to me? No, it's on the it's on the menu. It says it's just a water with lemon. Oh gosh, I am so sorry. I keep no, it's, forgetting. It's okay. Share this post or else your mom dies. <laughs> My mom ain't gonna die. Uh, hello. Hey, bro, you good? I heard the news. Wait, what news? There was just a big ass accident, man. Literally like two seconds ago, bro. Someone died. They saying it was your mom, bro. It's crazy because I just shared a post where it was like, share else your mom dies. Shit, glad it wasn't my mom, but hey man, hope you're doing good though. When I make dinner, nobody sees that. When I do the dishes, nobody sees that. When I clean the house, nobody sees that. But when I sit down to be on my phone... You're always on your phone. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm such a bad host. Can I get you guys something to drink? Oh, please, you're fine. I'll have a water when you get a second. Water? Got it. Dawn, did you want a water or anything? I'll do a root beer float. You can't just go to someone's house and ask them to make you a root beer float. <gasps> oh, I didn't know that. I mean, I would. I, I just don't have root beer. Oh, okay. It's fine. Uh, I'll just, I'll have a milkshake then. Dude, pick a household drink. I don't know which ones are. What did you get? Water. Water? Okay. Uh, do you have ice? Yeah, I have ice. I'll do a snow cone then. He's not gonna make you a snow cone. I don't know. I have a snow cone machine at my house. I have like 27 a day. You have 27 snow cones a day? I mean, I... Uh, what did you get? Water! I can hear you. Okay, I'm just gonna go home and get my snow cone machine. I'll be right back. <laughs> Is this your card? <laughs> no. Nice try, though. <laughs> Check your phone. What? I'm breaking up with you. How you... How did you... What did he do? What did he do? <laughs> What's up? What? What? What you got? What? I know you ain't got no spray.
Who that spray for? I know it ain't for me. Oh, I see what the fuck going on. So you want to try to get rid of me now? You want to try to get rid of me after all I did for you? After all them bugs that I killed for you? After all them roaches that I prevented from getting in this house for you? Even them bear bugs was about to tear your ass up. But I, I'm the one who prevented that. And you trying to get rid of me? And you got the nerve to stand in front of me with some rain. You know what? Them termites that I seen outside yesterday, I hope they fuck this house up because they plotting on you. I hope they fuck it up. You know what? You ain't got to spray me. Because if it's one thing my mama told me, she said, if your presence is not wanted, you need to leave. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pet my web and leave. <laughs> Got the nerve to kick me out and you didn't give me no 30-day eviction notice. You, I, don't, I don't give a fuck about this house no more. Standing there like a bitch. <laughs> Three drunk men get in a taxi. The driver notices they're drunk, so he tries to take advantage of them, turns the car on, turns it off, and tells them that they're here. The first guy thinks he's here, pays the taxi driver, and gets out of the car. The second guy thinks he's here, says thank you, and gets out of the car. And then out of nowhere, the third drunk guy slaps the driver. The driver starts panicking and thinks the guy knows that he tried to scam him when the guy says, Next time, don't drive so fast. You could have killed us. This little boy has this toy airplane that he loves to play with. He's in the living room playing with it. His mother's in the kitchen listening to him. And she hears him go, Vroom, vroom, vroom. All you motherfucking people who want to get on, get on. All you motherfucking people who want to get off, get off. The mother, very angry, runs out, grabs the plane, and sends the kid upstairs to his room. About 15 minutes later, she goes back upstairs and she looks at him and she says, All right, listen, you can play with the plane if you don't use that foul language. Kid agrees. Goes back into the living room. Mom goes back into the kitchen. Mom listens. Vroom, vroom. All you wonderful people who want to get on, get on. All you wonderful people who want to get off, please get off. And if you have a problem with the 15 minute delay, you can go talk to that fucking bitch in the kitchen. Okay, I need someone to act like they're attacking me. Louise, how about you? Me? Oh, okay. That's right. Just come at me. Hi, yeah. <laughs> okay, did everyone see what I did there? Hey, Dad, um, Mom just texted me something. What did she say? Tell your dad to clean the house, do the laundry, and get dinner ready before she comes back from shopping. <laughs> well, tell your mother, yesterday I did it, and today is her turn. Yeah, but I would have thought you guys would have, you know ordered in or something why why today because it's your anniversary happy anniversary by the way oh you didn't wish her oh she's mad mad i'll start with the laundry you start with the food Four men are in the hospital waiting room because their wives are having babies. A nurse goes up to the first guy and says, Congratulations, you're a father of twins. Man says that's a crazy coincidence, I work for the Minnesota Twins. A nurse says to the second guy, Congratulations, you're the father of triplets. The man says that's a crazy coincidence, I work for the 3M company. The nurse tells the third guy, Congratulations, you're the father of quadruplets. The man says that's a strange coincidence, I work for the Four Seasons Hotel. The last man is freaking out and banging his head against the wall. The nurse asked him, What's wrong, are you okay? He said, no, I'm screwed. I work for 7up. Hey, I want you to be careful playing outside today. Okay, is, it, is everything okay? Yeah, it's, it's just an inmate escaped from the prison. So. Oh, wow. Yeah, the scripture says he's like 6 foot 2, 200 pounds, bald head, full beard, tattoos on his arms, his chest, and his back. Uh, the police are out looking for him now. Well, so if they find him, tell him, bring him over. He sound like a snack. Look, honey, a shooting star. Aww. Domino, motherfuckers! was performing with his dummy, and he just got done telling a blonde joke. Yeah, and that's why blondes are so stupid. <laughs> a blonde girl angrily jumps to her feet and says, Um, what gives you the right to stereotype blondes that way? What does hair color have to do with my worth as a human being? The ventriloquist gets flustered and tries to apologize. Ma'am, 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 I'm, I'm so sorry. You keep out of this, jackass. I'm talking to the dummy on your knee. Hey, wake up. Huh? Huh? I just murdered your entire family. But, but I live alone. Huh? Then who are these people in your house? There's people in my house? Well, not anymore. Dumb bitch. You could have died. You're welcome. What text messages mean to an anxious person? You're mad at me. You're mad at me. You're mad at me. You are writing a dissertation of why you are mad at me. See, this one's a little tricky, so at first glance, it seems like you're not mad at me, but based on that period, I know that you're mad at me. Everyone is dead, and also you're mad at me. 
An apple a day keeps the doctor away. But what if you are a doctor? You're pathetic, you know that? Bro, don't talk. You got fake glasses on. Huh, <laughs> touche. What? Touche? Wait, don't you mean touche? No, it's pronounced touche. No, it's pronounced touche, bro. It's pronounced touche. No, you dumbass. It's pronounced touche. All right, damn, chill, bro. What's, what's wrong with you, man? Don't be a douche. Oh, you motherfucker.